Look at this. You're, right now you're on the Nike Hercules missile site, SF-88, in San Francisco Bay Area. And I was a sentry dog handler from this missile site for a year and a half back in the 1960s. Uh, back behind, behind the camera over here is the dog kennels, where the dogs uh, stayed at, during the day, and they came out at night to patrol the area around the exclusion area of the missile site, which is back over here where the missile is kept. Uh, we would, we would go and uh, have a dog out here from dark until dawn and patrolling the area around the outside of the fence around the missiles to protect the nuclear warheads and the missiles from any intruders. The little uh, guard shack back over here to the, the little bit to the left over there, that's where the guards would stay to go and uh, allow access in and out of the exclusion area. At night there would be one guard in the shack there and one dog handler out walking the fence line. There's a two-man rule to go in with the missiles and so what would happen is the dog handler when he left the guard shack area would uh, take the key to the gate by the guard shack so the, the guard that was still there couldn't get into the uh, exclusion area and he would patrol the area so they always keep that two-man rule in effect. There was a second gate on the back of the exclusion area that the guard that was in the shack would go and keep so the dog handler couldn't get in the back of the exclusion area but also for the two-man rule. Up on top of the hill on the other side of the launch area here on the building behind the large building up on the hill was the ready room where additional security forces were kept in case there's a problem down here on the site and you could see some stairs coming down the hillside up there. And that would be the access gate for those people to get down here into the site when, if necessary. Can you say something about the dogs themselves? The dogs uh, were mainly German Shepherds, German Shepherd mixes. They were nasty animals. They, they hated everybody except the person holding the leash. They, they would go and uh, we're standing here with uh, you. You hear the dog would want to go and bite you. He wouldn't, want, he wouldn't be friendly. Some of the dogs were a little friendlier. The one I had was about a year old when I got him and he was, he was uh, pretty much friendly but he knew when not to be. And an example of that is I went up to the top of the fence one, uh, one day to go and meet the duty officer and he's up there and he's asking me, what's wrong with your dog? He's not a scout dog, he's a sentry dog, he's supposed to be mean. The dog's just sitting next to me looking at him through the fence. And I t keep telling him, he's watching you, there's nothing wrong with the dog. And this goes back and forth about three or four times. And the sergeant of the guard standing back behind the lieutenant, he took about a half a step to the side. And the old dog came off the ground after him and tried chewing his way through the fence to go and get to him. And the lieutenant looks at the dog, his eyes got real big, and he said, I guess there's nothing wrong with your dog. And he spins around on his heels and he's gone. He's <laughs> getting away from this place. So how many people for each dog or how many dogs for each dog? We had one dog per handler. The dogs were trained to respond to one person and one person only. Really? And once, once, uh, like when I got out of the service, my dog was recycled with another handler and retrained so that somebody else could handle it. The dogs aren't put down or disposed of or anything. So you sleep with your dog? Pardon? Did you sleep with the dog? No. No, the dog stayed in the kennel. I stayed uh, up on the ready room or up in the barracks. Actually, I commuted to the army because I lived in the area, so I lived off post and came came so in. The dog was locked. The dog was locked in the in the kennels uh -huh. uh, during the day, and when the dog went on duty, the dog handler would go down and get that one dog out and go and uh, bring him out and work with him for about a six-hour shift. From the time it gets dark until midnight is one shift, and then midnight until the time it gets light would be another shift. And we change dogs and change dogs to change dog handlers.